mid-April through mid-May love readings. My love readings run from the middle of the month to the middle of the next month because we have these videos here, the career and money readings, as well as your general readings already. And so this kind of keeps you on track as the month goes on. This is for your moon sign. And I know you're like, why? Why not my Venus? Why not my sun? This video right here is gonna tell you exactly why that is. Just trust me, it's gonna resonate more. Um, you'll know why if you watch that video or you know, just trust me, whatever. This month, I'm gonna use a couple different decks and my awesome assistant might kind of edit into the video here what that will, what they look like, okay? And then in the description box below, if you're wondering what that is, there's links there. Um, and if you click on the link and you wanna buy one, I, I'm not selling them, but it's their affiliate links, which is great for me because I have to make money, you know, as well. So hopefully that'll work. Uh, what else? Let's just get started, I guess, then. Um, so the way these love readings work is we're going to look at predictions for singles, couples, and then for those in it's complicated situations. So you might be polyamorous, you might be in an on again, off again relationship. Maybe you're just talking to each other, but you haven't really met yet because of coronavirus. And so you're wondering what that's gonna be like later, you know, when you can see each other, whatever. Um, I'm gonna break it into those three categories and we're gonna look at what the general vibe is this month, what you, um, really want, or at least what you think you want, then what do you actually need? What's going to be the best thing to happen in your love life this month? And then what's the biggest challenge going to be? And then kind of just overall general advice. So let's get started. We're going to start with singles, then move on to couples, and then do, um, for those of you in complicated situations, whether that means you're polyamorous, on again, off again, you're just talking, but it's not committed. Um, we're gonna do those last because sometimes pieces of the single and pieces of the couples will resonate for its complicated situation. So it's not that I love you less, but that's the reason why I do that last. Sagittarius. So if you are single, what is the overall love vibe this month? And they're saying it's not a no for love. It's not necessarily a yes, but it's not a no. Therefore, any attempts you make to reach out and meet new people, even if you are social distancing, you know, like talking online doesn't mean it'll be a futile effort, right? You might not get to meet in person, but maybe you can FaceTime, you know, things like that. So, um, they're saying it's not like love is impossible this month. It might not be 100% probable, but it is worth the effort. So what is it that you think you want in regards to your love life? And they're like, somebody that you don't have to give a lot of emotional effort and empathy to, right? Like somebody you don't have to stretch yourself in order to see things from their point of view. Like a love that is easy, right? <laughs> like a partner that, um, doesn't come with a lot of emotional baggage is what you think you want. So what is it that you actually need though? Um, well, you need to get over the fact that somebody has broken your heart, you know, in the past and the fear that that is something that is gonna happen again. And I mean, this card, you flip it over and it says, fuck that person, right? So, I mean, just as a culture, generally, we um, have competing ideas. History often repeats itself. And then we also say, you know, the only constant is change, that things are always evolving and changing. Nothing's ever the same. And so that's kind of the case in this situation. And it's like, you don't want somebody who has a lot of emotional baggage because you don't wanna put a lot of effort into that and then have it not work out. Um, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, that's great to have somebody who's like simple and easy to deal with. Um, but at the same time, don't be afraid that, you know, the next person or whoever you might be talking to, especially in, you know, the current circumstances of, you know, like this virus and making that hard to date, depending on where you live and what your, you know, belief systems are around it, um, that, that that means it won't work out. Okay. Because they're saying it's not a no, it's, it's not, 
it doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to find somebody this month or at least start that connection and the growth there. And I mean, it makes sense to have fear that maybe you'll invest a lot of time and energy getting to know somebody and then you meet for the first time or you talk for the first time and you're like, oh my gosh, I hate this person's voice. Like I couldn't see myself with this person long term. Those kinds of things happen, but they're saying um, it's not impossible for you this month to find it, okay? Um, so. What will be the best thing that happens in your love life this month? And they're saying, like, from a spiritual perspective, the fact that you're not super intuitive this month and tuned in um, might actually help you because it might broaden your horizons a little bit. They're saying, you know, you're going to be learning about what you put into relationships and is it worth it? And like, what do I get back or out of this? And so it's a growth period for you. And so the timing of this like inconvenient dating situation is actually good for you because it does help you to secure better long-term potential relationships. So what's going to be your biggest challenge? And they're saying to really understand and identify what it is that you want and that you're capable of having not only all that you want in a relationship and in a partner, but something even better that you hadn't discovered that you even like or do cherish. And so um, if you're you're not sure what you want or not even sure how to start like thinking about what it is that you want in relationships in the description box below there is um, a link to the freebies page on my website that has worksheets to help you identify that and start manifesting it okay and it's not one of those things where you have to put in your email address so I spam you a thousand times a month no you just go you just fucking grab it and, and you use it for your benefit right because that's the whole point is to help people have better lives otherwise why even read tarot so moving on to couples what is the love vibe this month? And same thing as singles. They're saying it's, it's not a no. You know, whatever you want from your relationship, no matter how you want it to go, it's, it's not that it's not going to work out. I mean, is it going to work out 100%? Maybe not. But like the things that you want, are they achievable? Actually, kind of, yeah. So what is it that you think you want in your relationship this month and from your partner? And they're like, it's not that you want freedom. And maybe that's because, you know, you can't travel <laughs> right now. Um, you want them to help create a situation of happiness with you and for you. You want them to be looking deeper and more closely at what it is that you desire, what it is that makes you happy, and you're wanting to rely on them to fulfill a certain need for you um, and a level of happiness for you this month. Not in a codependent way, but usually you go and create your own happiness. And if your partner wants to come along, okay. And now all of a sudden, it's like, different this month where it is more important and it's more of a focus for you that they kind of help meet your needs and please you a little bit. So what is it that you actually need? Um, so you're kind of a hot mess right now and your fear is aggravating that. Um, they're saying what you need is to kind of go through your life, okay? Go through all aspects of it. like you know, your day-to-day -day routines, um, your finances, like, you know, even the way that your home looks and kind of clean up things and get rid of things that don't need to be there. Um, because it seems like you're carrying around a lot of energy that isn't really useful. And when we have like a cluttered home, for example, or a cluttered mind, then we're not the best that we can be, you know, in our career, in our relationship, you know, as a parent, as a friend, all of those things. So it's kind of like going through different areas of your life um, and getting rid of what you don't need. And I feel like with in the context of a coupled situation, you need to go through what are the things that you do, you know, in the household if you live together or in the relationship and try to delegate some responsibility to your partner. You know, if you're always the one cooking and cleaning, maybe two nights a week, they're gonna be responsible for that or you're gonna do it together or something like that because you have a need for them to fulfill, um, you know, to do something that makes you happy okay but you have too much clutter going on in your mind and in your energy so some of that has to be either eliminated or shifted and delegated to the side so what's the best thing that's going to happen in your love life this month in your relationship and they're like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger any arguments disagreements heartbreaks disappointments that you have it's only to show you something and to make your relationship better in the future now i feel like it's a small percentage of you maybe 10 percent that this means you break up okay now if that's the case it's only so that's 
something bigger and better, a relationship that suits you more, can come into your life. They're like, this is how you get what it is that you're manifesting, what you truly want in your life. You're learning to hold on to only the things that are the most important things that you need to, and then kind of casting everything else to the side. If you don't do that, if you carry around all this clutter, um, then you're going to start to feel really depressed. And you're a fire sign. You're supposed to be this like really um, exciting person who just kind of pushes love and like attraction and excitement and joy and happiness and nurturing out of their auric field. And so you're not really yourself until you learn how to do that. So what's going to be your biggest challenge this month? And they're saying, you know, this whole situation in which you might feel kind of depressed or down or anxious and then kind of coming back into who you usually are, who you usually are in the relationship, but also in regards to how you show the world who you are, um, clearing up your clutter and your baggage in your head and in your space and in your heart is the best way to do that. But it is challenging. So is there anything else that you need to know this month in regards to your relationship? And they're just like, this isn't like something that just naturally occurs to you so thank goodness you found the zero reading right um but it is something that needs to be done for so for those of you in complicated situations what's your love vibe this month and they say allow people around you to be helpful and um to sort of help you get through the month and navigate what's going on um you're honoring, pe when people offer to help, we often like reject that help and because we feel like it's a burden, right? But they wouldn't offer if they didn't want to. And so whether it's just holding a door for you, whether it's um, giving you money, whether it is that they, you know, send you food from Grubhub or whatever it is, allow them to help you because that is honoring them and that's helping them feel like a good and useful person too. So it boosts up their self-esteem and also like it's nice to receive help. Um, so as far as whoever that you're dealing with, potentially like an on again, off again relationship, maybe multiple partners, allow um, these people in your life in your complicated situation to help you out, but also other people to help you navigate your complicated relationship. So what is it that you think you want? And they're like, you just want to be like healthy right? You just want a healthy situation. You just want a healthy relationship or situation. Um, but what is it that you actually need? And so you need to not give your power away, basically. It's like you're always acting like a badass and like right now, like super independent and like I know what I want and I'm not going to deal with things that I don't like and whatever. And right now you kind of just need to be a little bit passive and allow kind of others like sit back and observe what others do what they do. Right. So what is the best thing that's going to happen in your love life this month? And they're saying if you're able to focus on the big end result of what you want and you have that in common with the other people that you're dealing with, then the little arguments and um, you know, misinterpretations and disagreements can kind of just fall away. Um, so that would be awesome, right? To not have struggle. Um, but it does require you specifically to ask the other person like, hey, you know, one year from now, five years from now, like, what is the main point? What do you want to come from this? And then you can like actually get through this month, like, you know, this month from now. So the back half of April into the first half of May, um, what you desire from this situation. So what's going to be your biggest challenge? And they're like that things aren't the way that they usually are, that your routines are upset. And maybe that has to do with the coronavirus, maybe something different. But regardless, like it's unpredictable right now. And that's the biggest challenge. So what is the advice on kind of getting through this? And they're like, basically do nothing. You can't control the situation either way, even though it's unfair. So just sit back and observe and focus on the long term goals and what it is that you want. Allow other people to help you. And um, that's how you get through this month and get more out of the this complicated situation that you have um, with the best result for you. So um, love you so much and I'll see you next month.